Yes, I, life giver and keep of life, holy Manuel eyes, Lassie I, Ja, Rastafari. Blessed love to each and everyone. Give thanks for your presence with us, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren and sisters to gather together in one love and unity. And it's like that precious ointment, that oil that anointed the head, that is the priestly oil that anointed the head of even Aaron that went down to the skirts of his robe. That's to show how precious, like the Jew of Hermon, that's to show how precious the unity is. So give thanks to the oneness and the unisense. Blessed love and welcome to the tiger's nest. Of course, you know, the Honorable Priest Isaac here with you, definitely ready to take this to another level. We have a very special visitor with us who we will introduce in a moment. That is the good brother of Utu Enigos Moenga, and he is visiting us, even linking in with us, I should say, in East Africa, talking about the land of Kenya. So we're gonna get some Mau Mau warrior inspiration in a moment as we speak. But let me just remind you, of course, that it is this Saturday, this Saturday evening, the 31st day of July, 2021. Just reminding you to make sure you keep it on your calendar. You don't even have to do all of that. Just make sure your notification is on as you are a subscriber to the channel. So you can get the ding, 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 Saturday evening, 7 p.m. sharp, as we bring the second part of the three-part series lecture, The Living Gods of Kemet. Okay, and I'm sure you may have seen that video we would have uploaded uploaded recently today, um, speaking about the, the King Ramesu. That will be the third part, at least that is preparing you for the third part, which will be next Saturday. So yeah, man, just brace yourself and look forward for a very um, scholastic and and, and, and really university style of presentation this Saturday evening as we go into Samenkare, the second part of the living gods of Kemet. Now, as I said, we have with us Brother Utunigos Moenge, hope the pronunciation is uh, precise, that is joining us from Kenya and the good brother within the realms of Rastafari, he has some good things to share with us today outside of you know giving us an idea of what is going on in Kenya. But he is the producer specifically of a, a calendar that uh, many of you may have seen um, some highlights of the calendar on the YouTube specifically, may or may not have seen it, but uh, there's a video of it. But this is the calendar, a Rastafari calendar, which really somewhat is a revolutionary calendar, um, really put in the whole aspect of, um, of us dating and, and, and the chronology, I should say, of our time puts it in a totally different perspective, different months and the, the, the year starts on a different day. And the brother will explain the whole revolutionary idea behind the Rastafari calendar. As you see, 90, this was done for the 90th anniversary of the coronation of the emperor and the empress. So we're going to get into that in a moment. But let me just first again introduce the good brother, Brother Utu Nikos Moenge. Moenga, blessed love, my brother. Blessed love, my king. Yes, and greetings to you in our language, in the African language, and and pardon, pardon the English, but that's how it goes on this side here. But um, Jumbo, and uh, what else we say there? The, and Habarigani, you know, and the fullness to you and the full family. Yes, my brother. Um, bless the audience and give us an, a little idea on exactly who is. Utu Negos Moenga. Yes, I, uh, Ayana is truly humbled um, with this opportunity to um, actually sit down with the eye. And, you know, you've, you've been doing this long before YouTube, you know. So, like, you having created your platform and having, you know, people like, like us and special guests like um, Ed Empress of Tokyo on fire. Yes, that um, was blessed yesterday. Give thanks. So yeah, we give thanks. We give thanks. Give and thanks to the most I was. Mm -hmm. True, true. <laughs> uh, I and I hail from East Africa. 
Nyanza Mwanza near the lake, the Great Lake, are one of the great sources of you know the River Nile. So yeah, man, and I've been in this liberty for um, I'd say a few years. I'm still pretty young in it. Um, since 2013, after my university days, uh, yeah, there was there was more. There was more. I was yearning from life because I felt like yo, okay, I finished university. Um, mm -hmm. I was about to drop out. It's just that I had to um, give the degrees to my parents to make them happy. But after yeah. that, I felt like I needed more, like there's more education, there's more to life. And there's, you know, the opening now of Rastafari, which I and I trod in at now, and we give thanks for that. So I and I can say um, I'm multi-talented and I think to like crown myself one talent is actually passing most of these talents that I have to the youth. I also have a lot of ideas that I myself can't do. I need to be in, not even a team, teams to like actually feel some great works underlined. So yeah, man, part of the works is obviously revolving Rastafari and not per se revolutionizing, but like promoting the growth and um, going deeper in roots. So Tell I and I vision is one of I and I projects where we try to like put things and videos and like media stuff in a in a nice way. And right now we're gonna focus more on the children, like content that the children can really yum, you know, and have fun and you know, animations. It'll take some time, but you know, just giving people the line in case anyone is interested. Pull that across uh, to them again. Calendar yeah. is another before you get that's. Tell, uh -huh. tell I and I vision, right? That's I and I vision. Yes, I tell I and I vision. So it's, nice. if you go to YouTube, tell um, space, mm -hmm. I ampersand, I uh, space vision. Oh, Give that. You there. Yes, I. Yes, go to your So saying. the Rastafari calendar. Come again? No, you were saying the Rastafari calendar. Oh, yeah. All right, yeah, give thanks. Yeah, the Rastafari calendar now um, brought, was brought, um, the idea was brought to me by Tautahara Manuba, General Tautahara Manuba. And we all know he's at the forefront of, um, you know, bringing about like the proper change to Rastafari. And he suggested as a culture, we need to have our own Rastafari calendar. And I wondered, by the way, in South Africa, the way there's so many races, how is it that somebody hasn't like developed this thing by now? So I guess that's why I and I come in. And it, it clicked and we went, we decided to run with it, to design it and just give a proper layout to Rastafari um, to be able to expound on this. Um, you know, like people create new designs, um, people print them, let them make money for themselves. Also as an economic move for Rastafari people. You know, we all know the Chinese now have really taken over like Rastafari product looking economics. But now this is INI culture for INI people. So yeah, man, the calendar was developed also to tell INI story and where INI come from. And we can now begin to plan in INI own way, you know, in INI own spirit, because if like in Kenya, um, Rastafari is not known to like keep Sabbath generally, not even by government people. So you find like Rastas have to work on Saturday to make money. Mm -hmm. When by, by this time, it should have been respected to know, you know, like the SDAs, um, where I live, there's a lot of SDAs. People know Saturday businesses are closed. So for like people should know Rastafari Saturday, you know, Sabbath day of which now I and I call Kedami. Um, which is Amharic for Saturday, or Mamusi, which is Swahili. Um, so yeah, this was also there to like really promote I and I culture. Also, um, I don't know where can we start from the cover page um, to the anthem. And well, yes, I was just the, running to the anthem here. Just basically yeah, follow the calendar. Do things a bit differently. Yes. And of respect to, um, as you said, the inspiration of 
General Tau Tau Haraman Boya. That's correct. Give that. And the myself, Honorable Utu Moenga. All right. All right. Yes. Yeah, so, so I see you have it divided here into, uh, pardon me, different aspects here. This one is a guide to the Rastafari calendar that, that gives an example of, uh, I guess, give you an idea of where it's coming from. And I see the first month now you have Ubuntu. And um, is, it, is it two different types of days you have here? To, no, mm -hmm. that is the top. The top is Swahili. The bottom is um, Amharic. Okay, and um, yes, and and the day began. The year begins at the coronation of the emperor. I'm seeing here, second of November, third of November, and it goes forward. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, G give us a little idea of the genesis of that, if you can. All right. Um, again, give thanks to General Tao Tao. Yes. He suggested that the calendar should either start on the coronation or should start on the earth light of um, Lich Tafari. So to me, it clicked, it should be the coronation year because it brings a whole active in the sense that that's when a bunch of people in the Caribbean, a few in Africa, a few in America, actually now spotted the prophecies of Honorable Marcos Gavi, you know, look to the east and wait for the crowning and no. And that's when now I and I, who we call ourselves under his name, who are like Rastafari, Rastafari is here. Of course, the Ethiopians, long time, you know, they've been chanting Rastafari, Rastafari, the Ethiopians themselves, because, you know, he was a king. Uh, so the coronation year made sense because now that's when Rastafari actually exists. During Haile Selassie's earth light, there was no Rastafari. He had to be upgraded to Ras. Otherwise, he was born Lige Tafari. And because this is Rastafari, Liberty, we're going to go with when Rastafari was um, born in a holistic level also. Because, you know, we're dealing with the trinity of the coronation of the mother. Um, the father, and now I and I, the children, when the whole manifestation was really, it really birthed, you know, because before that, I can say it was incubation, like in the womb, since Elasi was born, until now in the 1930s, when we, boom, you know, we started bringing our dreadlocks out of the womb, you know, and hailing Rastafari. So that's, that particular day, I feel like, carried more weight, and to be able to be more just in terms of defining our story father and mother came together there um so so the maui times let me get it straight so you are the founder of such yes i created the maui times as a publication brand uh for rastafari but yo i'm telling you i'm on marcos gavi tip i created so many brands for rastafari to like forward with but it's been a bit of a mix up, but we give thanks also because the growth is slower, but it's gonna be better. Okay, so so we start with Ubuntu now. So 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 um Ubuntu is the first month, all right. And then the second month is well, most people do know the Ubuntu is a very common phrase now, but you wanna explain the what it means as such. Uh yeah, so um I felt like we needed to come up with names for the moons, for the different moons, because you know, um, every language has a name for every moon. So I tried yeah, designing this particular one with also I and I liberty. Or may I also say, this is um, the first calendar and it's gonna grow. The more oh, people yes, know man. about it, the more people um, will reason about it. Mm -hmm. We can actually change these things to suit what's, more. What's interesting, you know, what's interesting, I'm not, I'm not Ragging the mic from you, I'm going to make you go. But what's interesting True. is that yeah. we're still in this year, you know. So even I noticed the moon, we have the exact dates of the moon and everything, you know, well set, well set, and very beautiful. And of course, everyone will be can, can get their copy. And before we leave, I know you will be able to, 
to explain that to them. But yes, you're, you're saying about the months and Ubuntu and we're going into my art as well. So. Yeah, man. So we all know that um, um, the concept of Ubuntu is basically that oneness in the sense that I am because you are, because it's that recognition of that oneness. So for that oneness, that would be the first moon, which is Ubuntu. Second is Ma'at, because um, Ma'at is, of course, we, all, we, all, we know the principles of Ma'at, and Ma'at is a mother, and we're all born from, you know, the mother. So this Ubuntu comes out of the mother's womb, and we exist because of Ma'at. That's why that was number two. Okay, I hold on. Like let me see. Moon number three. You know, I, I really don't want to cut you there. So, 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 the uh, let me just be clear here. Before we reach down to the bottom, so all of these months begin on the full moon, or a day after, or a day before. Am I correct? Somewhere very close to. That's what we will see as we go down. Has it been designed that way also? Uh -huh. Because. Oh, well, okay, so like you just figuring it. Because when I'm watching it, okay. I'm looking at um, you are you're bringing in, of course, the 28 day cycle. And interestingly, it's just nature. It just happens that the full moon on the the 90th anniversary it was the day before the coronation anniversary. Just like this year, the 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 anniversary of the Emperor Earth Day, 129th, the Friday evening was a full moon too. So I'm saying it's just the blessings of the Most High, really with the item in the creation of this. So now it's somewhat on track with the moon. So the second month began on the moon, literally on the moon. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's the new moon that signifies the beginning of the month. But it's all good still. It's a, it's a kind of balance, you know. We we get in there as you said, and it looks quite divine. Mm, all right. True. True. All right. But anyway. Well, that was my question, but I see kind of, yeah. But anyway, let's continue. I know I'm a bit excited here. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a nice, it's a nice <laughs> vibes, you know? Yes, but- It really, it really is. True. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So you're saying we're on my so, and then we go into, uh, and I noticed you have some wonderful phrases all by the emperor. You know, this, I didn't read the first one, but this one, it's, it is only when man becomes master of his fate, able to determine his destiny, that he can be free from fears and inferiority. Such an individual or, or a nation stands respected by all. Maui, Haile, Selassie, and I see the, the, next, um, the next chapter, the next month, Moon is named um, from off of the king too, yes. My Lord. Yes. So basically, Selassie is Trinity. So I felt like it spoke for itself to be the third moon, you know? Yes. Um, so again, uh, the names of the moons, by the way, are free. Like if Russ is coming reason, it's like, yo, I feel like the fourth moon should be this because of this, because of that. Bro, this, this is a calendar that's growing. Like, this is this is a young project. This project is so young, so it's for all of I and I to like mold it, you know. So I, I see, and um, um, Amy Amy Jakes Garvey also gets a light here on the what was that the the, the fourth day of um, Selassie, thirty uh, first day of December. All right, I, I see you also. Very nice, the design and all of these different things, I must say. Uh, especially I see you, you bring in the, the, what you call it, the horoscope, um, zodiac signs as well, Aquarius here. Just we're, we're going to talk about that another time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you, uh, the, the, the Capricorn the here, the and then the solstices. Pardon me? Yeah, we'll definitely talk about those um, horoscopes because um, I've learned about the zodiacs from your lectures, and um, yeah, we need to do more research on that. Oh, man. Give thanks to well, you know the heavens declare. But continue, eh? Very interesting, very, very. And before you continue, we can even put that in now. So uh, the, 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 the calendars, are they 
you know, do they go out for tender or do you sell them? Um, is it a contribution for the work, for all the hard, hard, hard work here? Or is it something you just give out, like some supermarkets and some businesses that give out a calendar? So if a person wants um, one, I feel like the, what, what do they have to do? Uh, I feel like this particular design, um, because it's really simple. Um, it's 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 the free giveaway, and because it's wrong. it's the book where well it's, it's what we need to learn anyway, you I know. Think. Um, so this is this is just basically the guiding, the guiding book. If if I come up with other designs, um, like way more prettier designs and whatnot, um, we can say fancy even. Then maybe maybe those ones I can make an exchange. Unless I'm printing for you, then you can make an exchange. But online. It's it's pretty much free. You can print for yourself. Nothing you, you can print to sell it, and if if, if so, so, willing, so, you know. So if someone requests this and you pass it to them, they are in a position to make a contribution to you if they feel. I'm sure. Yes. yes okay. Yes, so so can. so if if somebody yes. wants a copy of this now, what would they have to do? Oh, they just have to basically go to. Uh, the link would be easily found on Facebook mm -hmm. and uh, Kedamaru Times um, with a oh. queue. And yeah. yeah, they'll just find the link and they'll download it from a Google Drive link. See, the family, uh, QED, not with the K now, Q, this one over here, very nice logo. You prepared the logo too? Yes, I. Yeah, QED. A M A W I Times. You see it there, and they can catch you on your Facebook page. Okay, no, nothing else. I think no, you don't want also to. On tell I and I vision. Yeah, right. Tell on, I on and I vision. Page. Yeah, they'll find them. They'll find description. Okay. The videos. Mm -hmm. The link. So no, no email to you or nothing. Everything, they go to the Facebook and they'll get the vibes. I just want to be oh, clear before I continue. Um, yeah, I'm just asking you, you have to know what, how much you want to free up yourself to the people eh, in sure. case of what you have to offer. True, true. Uh, yeah, I can offer my email address, which is gusigeto at oh, gmail.com. Wow. That's G-U-C-I-I. G E W T O at gmail.com. Okay. I can repeat G U C I I G E T T O at gmail.com. Okay, perfect. And and I and I really believe once they go to Kadamawe Times in on the Facebook, I, somehow I feel they, they'll be able to navigate through. I don't think they should get any problem contacting you. All right. So I mean that is clear. Uh, no Instagram, nothing like that. Just quickly, you know. Just uh, ask it. It's there. It's there. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Instagram, not yet. Not yet. Okay. Everything take time. No worry. All right. So what I say now I mean, to the okay. family. Hold on, then. Okay. You just give me a second here. What I say to the family. Hold on. Right? Just give me a second. Now I hear him talking about this is simple. This just look all right. Okay, maybe this is his profession. So he have to know what's good and what's not good. I understand this, but trust me, this is one of the best calendars I ever see put together. The standard, the colors, the black, the background, the font, the idea, you know what I mean? The, the synchronization, the, the different dates that you see and Amy, just on the third month, the ideas for the month, the whole, putting together of the moon and the zodiac sign, plus showing you when the solstice is. Look at this, this is very nice, very unique. So, and every chapter have a quote of the king. So if you think this is pretty, which is very nice, you know, and if he find this is just a regular stuff, well, that is his standard. This is his lane. He knows what he can do. So he considers this as, you know, yeah. But this is real beautiful. So I would suggest, as the brother says, you can get a copy of it and have it for yourself and do not hesitate to give them a contribution for what you see produced here. Because you know, look at this, this is beautiful. The stand, oh, 
and them wonderful pictures of the mother and father of creation. Beautiful work, my brethren. So Kadamawi Times, just check it out on Facebook, the email, uh, um, G-U-C-C-I Ghetto, Goosey Ghetto, G-U-C-C-I-G-E-T-T-O at gmail.com, and we go through. Yes, my Lord. Um, yeah. So you have get and you have you have the different dates and everything. Ganja is, is month number five. Menin is 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 month number six. I see the moon moving in a different direction there. Bobo is month number seven. And that's the thing, you know, because the moon now, the moon, the moon date is is, is nine is really 29.2 days. You know, in its cycle, it's not actually 28, so it will swerve away and so the science of the, the new moon, you know, you know, although we say it's 28 days in the month, but that's just a next level, eh? don't get me wrong. This is, this is brilliant, this is perfect. That's just a next level, they have levels to this. That's why sometimes when people argue over the new year, I, 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 I tell them, listen, from my study, and this is my studies because I'm into this, a lot of, a lot of days that we consider new years, most of them are very, you know, very unique within the whole cosmic. You know, for example, you were showing me before we even started that there was a discussion if, if, if you should use the emperor's birthday or use the coronation day. So any one of those days would have been a high day to begin. I mean, the, the earth day is the beginning. The coronation day, in a sense, is another beginning. So the 11th of September within its own self has an, a, a strong African link outside of just Ethiopia as such. In the, in the Kemetic science, it is the day of the resurrection of Asa, the 11th of, um, the 11th of um, September. And it is actually, if you read the book, I have that book here somewhere, you know, the Tutankhamun's, uh, the pyramid, sorry, the pyramid prophecy by Max Thought, it speaks of 2001, the 11th of September being the, the end date of the prophecies that have been decoded in the pyramid. You know, I know just, just trying to highlight how significant the 11th of September is. Some people say that the, the 1st of April is a new year. We're in, to be very honest, when you look at especially, well, in both hemispheres, but most in the Northern hemisphere, you see that beginning of spring during that time. Even the 1st of January, uh, uh, that time, the, the 2nd of January itself going into the 3rd is the time when the sun is actually closest to the earth, which is uh, the perihelion. So, so I'm just saying that to highlight the different layers of this. So yes, there's the 28th day, which is, that's the natural day. That's why February has the 28th day. But the cycle of the moon really, it, it's mystic and tricky. So I was just noticing that as an astronomer, obviously, as we notice the full moon has now gone more down into the dates because the moon cycle is actually 29.2 days, um, at least from the earth. And then from from outside of the earth is actually 27.2 something thereabouts anyway but that's just a bit of cosmic since this is the cosmic you know a calendar is cosmic a calendar is cosmic you know all of these all of these megalithic sites even right here in antique and green castle hill before they really understood the whole you know alignment with the stars they refer to these places as as calendar and, and, and uh, they, 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 they were used as calendars to tell the times and the seasons and harvest and reaping, which they can do that too, as a calendar can give you the date, but a calendar is a cosmic thing. If you notice, you have the moon, you have the zodiac sign, you have the equinox, look how you align the sun and the earth here, perfect. What are you talking about? Wonderful, wonderful calendar. I see you give bam. Um, Bobo seven. I hope I'm not speaking too much on your time, my brother. I'm just excited of the works here. I see you have Bobo one seven. Give us a little reasoning on that one. Um, I can see how you picked that out. Give thanks. Uh, 
Yes, I, there's, that, there's that whole mystic with um, the Bobo movement. Uh, we all know Bobo means African, basically. But now with um, the EIBC and the whole number seven thing. So if ones and ones know the mystics, then they'll, they'll make a click and they can feel that for themselves, you know. Right, right. And I noticed, um, but it, it, while, while I was asking too, I noticed it aligns quite well with even the 21st day of April, which is a very sig significant time in Boba Shanti. You know, it's uh, the, the, the visitation of the emperor. Our celebration, you know, really refers to it as Abraham meets Mel Chesedek. Chesedek. True. Uh, and the seven that's, also that's mystic. represented the Sabbath. Yeah, but you true, true. Yeah, it just it's beginning to feel more like as the Empress put it, divine intervention. So things are just adding up. Some of these things I didn't even think of. It's wonderful, man. The youths them should have, you know, uh Empress Zadi tools, earth light, very beautiful. The youths them should have this in their um um, in their collection, um, Ras Mokenin's Earth Day as well. So I heard you mention something about printing. So you you have the hard copies of this as well? I have mine, um, but um, nobody has really ordered for me for me to print for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, so nice. right now I'm just dealing with it like online. Just tell people to go online and get it. If you can print it for yourselves. Uh, but maybe later, maybe later we'll really get into printing also. This one will be highly controversial. <laughs> I'm telling you, for sure. This one is, this is, um. so we have this as the 22nd of al Kebulan. al Kebulan, And I would see why too, as we have African Liberation Day, you know, within that time. So you see, this is what I'm saying. So there's a lot of genius. Mm. Give me a moment, there's something that's looking right on my side. Uh, okay. There's a lot of genius that has gone into this, man. So enough respect. Um, true, true. But yes, yes, the, the 21st day of May, King Emmanuel's Earth Light. It, it's, um, yeah, you know, it's highly de debated and debatable, I, sh mm. I should say. Okay. Even, uh, especially amongst yeah. I and I as Bobo Shanti. But um, no, no feeling away that, man. Um, there, there, there are many that lead to that. So it's good enough. Give thanks, man. If things bless. Wonderful works. Um, I, I have my own mystic views. Eh? I, don't, I don't even think anyone shares my outlook, I think. You know, my thing does be a little different than the regular stuff. True, true. Yeah, yeah, but yes, my Lord, Baba Janai, give thanks. This is July. Okay. Perfect, Baba Janai. Mm -hmm. And... Um, Yes, and also the the, the 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 month of the marriage of Heidi Selassie and uh, and Lee Juatsu. And look, look, you have the full moon right there. So where we are now, this is the twenty eighth. We're doing this recording. So we are today now. Today is the seventeenth day of Ababa January. Right. All right. Just getting accustomed to it. So in other words, now, today, let me see exactly when I, my birthday, my earth light is. So today is the 17th day of a Baba Janoi. And um, my earth light, which would be the 2nd of January, is the 6th of Selassie. Or uh, any, any specific reason why the, the eye is left out of this one here? I, I, I know right. I've seen it spelled so to some people. Yes, sorry, go ahead, you go ahead. Yes, um, yeah, I think even in his autobiography, the translator really mentioned that in the sense that um, the original, supposedly the original like spelling was mm. that way. It's also something I learned from Tautau Armanduba himself because he did Amharic studies in Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. I've seen it spelled so, but um, I must say, well, that's interesting because 
Some say that um, it has supposed to have two L's. I don't know if you ever came across that. One second, you say something because. Mm. And be put in three. Oh, yes. Mm. Sorry, my brother. Yeah, I'm saying like I and I should even put three, you know, like for that. <laughs> oh, my I mean, yeah. yeah. oh, okay, okay. Well, yeah, okay. Well, well I, I don't know with the expression of the tongue. What is interesting is something I really um, always had in mind to have a discussion on. Um, anytime I think about it, I think about my virgin Cypher Selassie. He uses the two L's in his name, in his expression. And many years ago, I know he gave me a, a kind of reasoning on it of why it should be two L's. And I think he might be the better person. But no, um, I, I've seen it without the I, you know. But I always thought it was just a different spelling for maybe a different one. I mean, on other people's name, Haila Selassie, you have Haila Selassie, Hailu Selassie, different things. So, so I'm not that versed in the Amharic language, you know, so I would always humble to whatever it is. Maybe I might have had it a bit off or whatever. It's just about knowledge. It's just about growth. That's really what it's, what, 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 what it, what's, what it's all about. Mm -hmm. All right, no problem, my brother. So, so... And where we are now. So we have the 11th month, Mosiah, which we are going into that. And um, the 12th month, Rastafari, the 13th month, Negus. All right. This is um, your people here. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Kimachi. 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 Uh, say it again. Kimachi Washiori. Kimachi Washiori. Yeah, and that's his earth light. Uh, give thanks. And that is um, the 31st of October. Mm, interesting day as well. And um, so that brings, that brings the 1st of November <laughs> as the, 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 the sealing day of the year. And it's, it's sealed right with the emperor too as he was um, given the title of the Desh Mark. Mm -hmm. Positive, positive. All right, oh, wonderful. Yes, yes. Yes, my Lord, give thanks. So what's this down here, Rastafari at 90? That's a, oh, that's just a, 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 an expression. Thought it was a link yeah, to somewhere else. Nah. Yes, my Lord, give thanks. Very good works. And um, again, I just encourage, you know, everyone to get a copy of such. And, and um, as I said, it's something that works, is worth a contribution, or oh, pardon me, whatever you may think is fit. The brother is giving it out freely. And uh, it is just up to you. Yes, my Lord, give thanks. So even before you leave the platform now, give us an idea of what is taking place with Rastafari in Kenya. At this time, you know, we give thanks to the international link, you know, and um, as you, as 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 you said, you 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 one with um, the good general Tau Tau, um, how, how you pronounce it? Right, the good general, and I know he is an international man. And um, but but what's going on in Kenya? What's the Rastafari vibration like? The Bobo Shanti movement, what, what's going on, the Naya Bingi movement, Rastafari in general, you know, what's going on with the government and the youths and, and youths with locks and youths with head wrap and all kind of thing. Because I know in South Africa, they have the tug of war in Botswana, they have the tug of war, you know. So what's really taking place in Kenya as it relates to, to, to such kind of the Rastafari movement is strong. And I'm sure you could give me a good idea or give us a good idea, those of us who are not there. And blessed love to Kenya as well. Yes, my Lord. Yes, I. Uh, we give thanks. Now, the situation in Africa, just this is just generally speaking, you find a lot of similarities according to the colonizers that actually colonized them. You'll find the certain traits that are just the same, you know. So you'll find like in Kenya, 
and South Africa, we tend to share a lot of similarities because uh, we were run by the British, uh, so-called British uh, people. And uh, the fights they're having is exactly the fights we're having, you know, um, trying to take our children now to school with like dreadlocks, um, Ganja obviously not recognized in Kenya yet. Um, we have just basically with the government, there's not much recognition. Though there's a lot of Rasta hype in Kenya, a lot of Rasta hype, but not a lot of Rasta appreciation. A lot of, a lot of Rasta hype, but not a lot of Rasta. So there's reggae playing everywhere. Like if you walk around Kenya, there's reggae playing everywhere. But of course, people are not getting into the message. Um, but yeah, Rastafari, in my experience and learning Rastafari in Kenya, I found the influence is growing and we give thanks, especially amongst the youth. Mm, but we're finding, um, we're finding it a struggle to try and unite as Rastafari in Kenya. And it's pretty tough. It's pretty tough, especially dealing with people who've really dealt with the brutish system. It's the Kitambulisho system. The, you know, it's still colonization still here in Kenya. So that unity, I can say, yes, it's being fought by outside forces, but also we've adapted it. So now from inside forces, you're finding, you know, ones and ones fighting the unity, uh, ones and ones wanting to be the forefront of the unity just to be seen. So just to be seen, there's a lot of, yeah, there's a lot of tug of war. Um, there's a lot of tug of war, but you know, chaos, good things come out of chaos still, you know? So I feel like it's that time Kenyans, Kenyans in general and Rastafari in Kenya really need to look within themselves because they're very much looking out, looking out, looking out. They really need to look within themselves. This is the particular time. So now when you can actually step out, unity makes sense, you know, and we have a lot of potential to build a lot of things. Um, I believe from long time, there's been that Rasta instinct in Kenyans for a very long time because reggae has also been playing from a very long time, from like the Moi days, a lot of reggae was being played. Also a lot of reggae was being banned but we still have that revolutionary spirit. You know, it's Mau Mau in a, in a mountain. So that Rasta inspiration is still strong in Kenya, very strong. I'm telling you, if you get a Rasta president like this, like all the youths are just gonna start growing dreads. Like that's, that's something I can foresee for like the kind of energy that's here in the East African mountains. And it's being fought, it's being fought really hard. And yeah, man, I and I pray is to I and I brethren and sisters, because some moves are being made that are good. And we give thanks for the Bobo movement, because I feel like the Bobo movement is strongest um, in Kenya and the best influencers as Rastafari was in Kenya. Uh, the 12 tribes here are actually also very many and very, very wealthy. Uh, the Naya Bingi, some have been scattered in the city, others are, are in um, obviously the roots, but majority of Rastafari are just individuals who don't feel like dealing with organizations or majority of Kenyans are individual. So yeah, man, I, I and I have great hope for in Kenya, just generally and Rastafari Kenya can really, because Kenya is a hub also of East Africa. Kenya is known as like one of those countries that really um, our IT people are very influential, our economics are very influential. Um, so we as Rastafari, if we were to come from that, would really be influential also as much as South Africa has been in growing Rastafari and bringing Rastafari together. <laughs> Yeah, man. So, so as far as the Bobo Shanti, um, um, Kenya, we're speaking of ones like Honorable Priest Harry. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, okay. Okay, yes. okay. personally, by the way, I haven't even visited the camps. Okay, no, um, I'm just, I'm just okay, well, no problem. To many no, no, purpose, no. But yeah, we've heard of priest Harry and we, Okay, okay, just, just to make sure. Yes, but you know, Ken, Kenya, Kenya and I'm not going to hold you up too, too long, you know, but I have you here. Kenya still ah, it's a blessing. have a, a very unique energy, even when I had the general and platform with me. The general was speaking of, at least to some degree, the, the origin of Rastafari in relation to South Africa. Uh, I know you know of that whole theory there. But still, Kenya too, very instrumental, you know, because although one may say, you know, the locks is, is something that, I mean, the, the, the Mau Mau carrying the locks is not a unique thing anywhere in Africa. And it wasn't a new thing. But apparently, to, to some degree, and, it's, and, and it, the degree is very vast, it was an inspiration to Rastafari, you know, where the people had locks in Congo, where they, they had, a, you know, whatever. And, and it's a tradition amongst tribes to just the locks they hear. But that's not what we saw. We saw on the BBC newsreel and the, the newspaper that we were getting that they had some matted man in Kenya. That's what we saw up in the hills, fighting against the, the wicked, wicked, wicked British. Them people there, them people there that were in Kenya, brother. When you watch some of these documentaries, the real life footage, I mean, them demons, they speak like some real serpents. I mean, wow, all of them had permission to carry the pistols. All of them had the pistols walking up and down. You know what I mean? And people fighting for their own freedom, free man, they're free wise, they ain't free and dumb. And you, you refer to them as bastards, and all kind of foolishness. But anyway, so that was an inspiration. I don't know how you look at it or how, how that fit in to to the Kenyan Rastafari fabric. As I said, the general explained, you know what I mean, how Rastafari can overlook South Africa when it comes to the origin of Rastafari. Okay, good. So in Kenya now, how does a, a, a bridging in Kenya, a sister in Kenya as Rastafari look at Kenya being a very key point when it comes to the inspiration of the locks? It's, is it something one's talk about? Is it something you bring remembrance um, of? Nobody even remember that and we just Rastafari. You know, like say, boy, them brethren better remember his and I show them about the locks, you know, you know, that, that kind of way. It's a culture, it's a different culture. <laughs> yes, I, in Kenya, there is one problem that happened. The Mau Mau movement was sort of transformed into a Mungiki movement, which was what? now being what? what? I'm I'm what? Mongiki, Mongiki. <laughs> okay, so I thought it was a political movement. Mongiki movement. All right, go ahead. Yeah. So now this Mongiki movement was specifically associated with the Kiku tribe. And um, they were being used as, uh, what do you call it? Just like a terrorist, you know, like a terrorist thing. So with this movement really being promoted, it wiped out a lot of history about the Mau Mau, you know, because some of the history I've learned actually recently was Mau Mau wasn't about Kenya, you know, it was about freeing up this land to free up Africa. Mau Mau was about Africa. Mau Mau wasn't about Kenya, you That's know, but we learned that uh, Mau Mau is just about Kenya and it was... Um, like some terrorist group. This is how we are taught here about the Mau Mau. Because um, now people are relating it to the Mungiki, obviously. <laughs> A total downgrade. Like this is just like demolish something purposeful into just like obliterated, like poof. It's like you can't even compare them. Okay, hold so, on, hold on. I just want to be clear. I, yeah, before you go to the soul, let me be clear. So the Mau Mau that we know of, 
Okay, before they became geeky then, the Mau Mau that we know of, that that was, that they accused Jomo Kenyatta of being the head of and all of that. You mean to tell me that it, it appears to you to be a deliberate plot to, to, you know, bring them down in the society and refer to them as they were a terrorist group. This is what you've been taught in the Kenyan school then and society that the Mao Mao was a terrorist group. Uh, growing up for me, yes, it was, but until um, Kibaki, the president Kibaki's regime came and decided to change the whole shift for Mao Mao. So he actually promoted like Mao Mao as freedom fighters mm -hmm. and put up a statue in, um, in Nairobi, but in a very noisy and busy place, which was, I felt it was a bit unfair, but yeah, it did something. And at least now most Kenyans are warming up to the whole Mao Mao, to the whole freedom fighter concept. Um, we have a day called Mashuja Day, which is hero day. So like nowadays Kenyans are not actually now, which we give thanks for our warming up now to like, yeah, Mau Mau, you know, that's, that's our thing. But still the dreadlock thing, not, not really spoken about much okay. because for Mau Mau it was until we receive our freedom, we're not gonna cut our locks. And you find after the so-called Mau Mau movement was destroyed, destroyed, I'm nice. saying that in quotes, <laughs> yeah, um, a lot of generals from the Mao Mao came out and shaved their hair, but there's still many of them who have locks still way up to their knees, you know, hiding up in the mountains, you know, and I wouldn't even say hiding, leaving it up, you up know, to now. in the mountains. Up to now, up to now, and like finding them, you have to come across like some elder be able to like meet them you know it's it's very interesting um i haven't met any myself except for um one one woman warrior very inspirational i'm, I'm forgetting her name i'll remember i think, uh, I think but what's I think interesting is, documentary is not the mao mao elder woman on the documentary yeah, um, yeah it's probably her it's probably her With some uh, the funny time. thing is very long yeah. the funny thing i see like most People who've bred in Kenya is because of the influence of Rastafari, more so than the influence of Mau Mau. Because now, once they're Rastafari and they're growing the dreads, and then the liberty, and now obviously reasoning and doing our studies, is when we learn, like, oh, the Mau Mau movement really inspired Rastafari to get dreadlocks. You know, then it's like, wow, like, this is, this is homegrown, you know, which has inspired many Rastas to say, I'm Mau Mau. You know, like we're coming forward to tell people, yeah, Rastafari, a Mau Mau. So oh, yeah, we, give, we give thanks to the inspiration and the spirit still being alive. Yeah, man, that, that, that's well, that, to me, that's a, yeah, well, what do we call a feather in the cap? But that's a great, that's a great thing because everything has to come full circle, you know, because we can't, can't leave, if you want to say, can't leave Africa you know, out of the whole play when it comes to even the, the rise of, of, of Rastafari. But, but, you know, still, I know I said, I'm going to let you go down, you know, but I still have a little interest of exactly underground in, in Kenya because you were speaking, okay, you made clear what's going on with the youths and everything and can't go to school with uh, locks, you said locks? They, they only passed the bill last oh. year. Yeah, okay. last year is when they allowed is when they allowed them to go to school. But but the the the, the cannabis situation uh, exactly how that is mm -hmm. is it the same like you know I mean a man getting arrested for a spliff and that kind of thing that's still the energy. That's still the energy depending on where you are by the way. Cause okay. me having come back to the roots and dealing with like just general people and cops here. Um, you're not even suspected for it. You're not even looked at like, ah, you, you're the bangi people. They call it yeah. bangi here. Uh, you're the bangi people, you know, but like if you go to Nairobi where there's all sort of wickedness, 
like you're gonna find cop who's just like he's an evil mind and it's just wants to grab you you know and take you to the cell and like shave your locks so in the city it's yeah. bad in the cities it's bad but outside of the cities like <laughs> yeah the only problem now is probably growing you know because now people it's like you're bringing just like light to yourself but like if you want to use it you're pretty much free like there shouldn't be much worries about herb. And as Janine promotes, you know, like, don't try to deal with the government much. You just, you run your thing. You run your thing. Yes, my Lord, give thanks. Just um, be strong and let's continue to keep the faith, Rastafari. Unity is strength, eh? And yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. So, so your 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 group though, you your your just asking, you know, you is there any is there a specific group you bind to? Uh, mm -hmm. You don't have to be the regular. Okay. Kind of, I know them different groups of Rastafari, even in South Africa. The things I just learning about it, I get a whole different outlook of what Twelve True. Tribe is. So, so I'm just asking True. if you're affiliated with anything specific. True, true. Um, yeah, man. Uh, I man can say I am an individual currently. I'm not bound to any organization or house. Um, one thing I can enlighten the eye is about the Mau Mau House. There's Mau Mau House, and uh, the Mau Mau House is actually trying to put it out to Rastafari um, globally to recognize Mau Mau, you know, as a house in Rastafari. You know, which is kind of interesting because we all know the Mau Mau back then, they ate meat, but now you have a new kind of Mau Mau, you oh, know, yeah. vegetarian, you know, just <laughs> yamming the aital and stuff. So it's a growth for Mau Mau too. Thanks. Wonders. Yeah, man, just blessings to all the brethren and sisters in Kenya. Trust me, it's, it's only unity, you know. All in different houses and things and things, trust me. It's, it's unity coming together. I see that for sure. Even when they, just like how the herb get a little bly around here. It's a unity that did it. People had to come together. People had to put away all differences and come and let the, the authorities see what's going on. They have to, yeah, man, I know, I know you say, um, what's name? Jana and say what she said, yeah, you know, man, but man still have to storm on the authorities and, and demand what belonged to them. And unity will do it if if the brothers and sisters in Kenya man, can just say, hey, look, man, we're going to meet. The heads of us are going to meet together. And, you know, I mean, we're going to have a consecutive, like three consecutive meetings and formulate a plan of unity. And we want our unity to be seen in the society, you know, and, and the president. A, a delegation. I'm sure something like this would have had been done already. I don't know. But keep to it. The unity very important. I know you always get the tug of war. Who want to come, make them come. You know, okay, you need a level of respect. Nobody's supposed to be churning in prison and chopping off no locks and things there. I'm supposed to demand that, hey, whoever you do that to again, that's the last time you're doing that. Yeah, that's, that, that's supposed to be the mentality. Man. Sorry to hear that one. I'm telling you. I'm really, really sorry to hear that one. See, one's supposed to come together and, and put a liar on that. You know, no one man have to pay a liar. 20, man, 20, 20 brethren supposed to can pay at one liar, you know, to fight the case of, you know, chopping off dreadlocks and jail. That's why we have to think and move together and unite this quick action. But yes, my Lord, give time for your president, Utu Nigos Moenga. Yes, sir. Thanks for coming through and of course check the calendar. Any 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 sealing words you want to leave with the people? Yeah, man. I hope this is this is a start, you know, I and I coming forward with like the great projects um I and I Rastafari is doing for Rastafari. And not just for Rastafari, for the world too, because Rastafari has a lot to offer to the world, and many people want to learn about more about rastafari so this calendar thing will be very interesting because like, people will be like what 
you have your own calendar, like you're working in your own time, your own space. All right, this, this is something that should be respected. You know, you have your whole culture thing. And yeah, man, look forward to Tel and IV. Um, I'm hoping I'll be able to do a bit more work there because um, there's, there's a lot, there's a lot going in life too. More blessings to ones and ones and give thanks again for this opportunity and this and as we hail the most I we hail Silas Yai. Yeah. Zaro Menin. Ay, ay, nay. Rastafari. Ay. Yes, my brother. Blessed love and you know, love to you and yes. I'll, I'll I'll take you up. Respect. All right. We definitely give thanks to the life giver and the keeper of life. Give thanks for the good brethren coming through and um, highlighting to us. In fact, let me touch upon that one more time. You know, kind of Maui time. So here it is, the Rastafari calendar. You can definitely, you know, get a, a copy of it for yourself. You can, it, it's more like a study calendar as well too. You can still follow up with the regular days, November, December, I mean, November 18th, November 19th, November 20th, whatever the case is, the month of Ma'at, very nice, well-designed. I know the body's saying, well, you know, um, we could have done better. But I, I, I think it's very beautiful. I give thanks to the, my virgin Mora, Brother Mora. I don't know where he is in the earth, more than likely he's in New York. And Brother Mora created a, a wonderful calendar several years ago, several years ago, more than a decade ago, a beautiful calendar highlighting, you know, different uh, days. It was really the Amharic calendar too, and aligning it with the the regular Gregorian calendar, and the different days of the emperor and some knowledge and facts and beautiful pictures. It was in black and white, though, but it was beautiful. It, it wasn't the days of E anything. It was Big calendar, beautiful, Brother Mora, Rastafari, Elder, doing great works. So anyone that know more, just bless him up for I. But this is a next level still. Um, for the knowledge that Mora had there on his calendar, I, what I would agree with, as the brother was saying, advancement, a lot of these spaces could full up and a lot of these spaces could full up. And this would really be a book, my brother. Trust me, a lot of these spaces could full up and you'd really have a study guide here for the young ones. You could get this in, in a scroll form and have this on the walls in your nursery for the young children. Oh man, they, they become beautiful as they evolve. You know, these are the things you need on your walls, beautiful works um, 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 to the brethren and the wonderful vibration. Kadamawi Times, check them also on Facebook. And of course, just reminding you Saturday, yeah, this is going to be, as I said before, this lecture, Samenka Ray, this is the one you cannot miss. I honestly believe that the, not believe, I know that the third lecture, which is the contribution lecture, that is what I'm referring to that one as the contribution lecture. That's the lecture on Ramesu the, the second. That's the lecture where you are free to make a contribution because the lecture will be free. But of course, as I said, you could definitely utilize the Cash App, Precise at 27 Cash App. We have the Cash App link below in the description of this very video here. And as I said, the, the three lectures are free. Originally, it was supposed to be the first two free and the third one, we would have done it on our, our, our webinar platform. But we said, no, we want to bring it to the whole people. So it is free to the public, but at the same time, it's going to be a contribution lecture. So those of you who understand the value of it and knows that it is something that is worth the value of it, you are free to make a contribution for that specific lecture. Not this one coming up, but the one on uh, after uh, this lecture coming up this Saturday. I'm still excited, you know, and more excited now we're talking about Semen Karwe. Yes, this is a wonderful uh, poster that was created by the Honorable Prince Almasi. So we give thanks for 
the designing team right here at the Preach Isaacs Institute of Holistic Knowledge. And as I say, Saturday evening, 7 p.m. sharp, the Living Gods of Kemet, the second part. Yeah. And of course, for any more information, you know, you could email us precise at 27 at gmail.com. All right. And you know, I got to really remind you that the shock of the hour is in your arena. Yeah. Remember, you can get a free trial in a month. You can get a whole week free of the shock of the hour. No need to be afraid. You understand? Nothing's going to happen. You just send you um the whole strong word of the shock of the hour that's all so you can hear it i know some people like they're free they're gonna get hooked on the shock of the hour it's all right it's a good it's a good hook definitely because it's just inspiration and information continually every evening on our wonderful radio program the mystic vibrations shock of the hour and i'm telling you look forward for the return of the full mystic vibration in a, in a very short time so definitely you could contact us uh, free size at 27 at gmail.com and just say hey i would like a free trial of the shock of the hour definitely costs you nothing you have a business my brothers and sisters man you have something you need to promote and eh? just contact me let's do an interview and let's do it and mind your own business at the same time all right life given the keep of life thanks for your moment with us thanks for your your presence and the joy. Give thanks for Utu, the niggas, Moenga, and give thanks for Katamawe Times, Holy Emmanuel I, Silas Yai, Ja Rasatafari. Blessed love.